Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you are creating or editing a macro in Design View, you may be a bit intimidated by the array of actions that macros can perform at first. Many are very simple once you get used to them. A typical action is Open Query. That would open a query in either Design or Datasheet view, depending on how you set the action's arguments. More complex command actions may only be used in programming modules. Now a macro can use up to 999 actions. You place the actions in the separate rows of the macro design grid from the top line down, and you can read the help file associated with any action that you select from the actions column by clicking into the column and then pressing the F1 key on your keyboard with the action selected. Also note that you can click the Show All Actions button in the Show Hide group on the Design tab of the Macro Tools tab within the ribbon to toggle the display of all of the actions available on or off within the Actions column in the Macro Design view. Now when this button is disabled, only macro actions that can be run regardless of the trust status of the database will be shown in the actions dropdown. So this ensures that even if the VBA is disabled in the database, the macro will still be allowed to function. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.